Also in New Jersey, authorities want to know who stole life-saving defibrillators from a Glen Rock school in sports field. The stolen devices are worth about a combined $6,000, but people are less concerned about the dollar cost than what might happen if someone need, needs one and it's not there. News for Jim Maxfield has more for us. It was definitely disappointing, you know, a little shocking. We were surprised. Melissa Russo and her friend Jennifer Dorsey led a townwide fundraising effort, collecting more than $30,000 to buy defibrillators for every playing field in Glen Rock. Then last weekend, someone stole four of them. It's not like you can resell these units to people, and I'm hoping that it wasn't a prank and that they're still in good condition. The $1,500 units were stolen from Upper Faber Baseball Field near the town pool, from the Bird Elementary School playground, and two from the fields behind the Hamilton School. The community is disappointed, very disappointed, that someone would uh, take the defibrillators away and expose a lot of kids to a, an unnecessary risk. The importance of defibrillators was made clear last weekend when 15-year-old Jack Crowley collapsed and stopped breathing after he was hit in the chest with a line drive. A hero off-duty Suffolk County police officer grabbed a defibrillator from the field house and revived the teen, who was already home and expected to fully recover. Because they're needed in emergencies when seconds count, defibrillators have to be as easy as possible to access and cannot be locked. When you open the cabinet, an alarm does sound, but that didn't stop these thieves. Glen Rock police can't understand why anyone would take a defibrillator. It has no expensive parts and can't be resold. The thought of anybody taking them and, and trying to sell them to, to make a profit on it really is, is amazing. It, it's really a disgusting thought. The Glen Rock mayor is offering a $1,000 reward in the hopes that someone will do the right thing and return the defibrillators. In Glen Rock, New Jersey, I'm Jen Maxfield, News 4 New York.